opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn, and prepares to castle. nc6 develops the knight toward the center, protects the pawn on e5, and eyes the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop to decide, exchange or retreat. BA4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. NF6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. B7 develops the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle. 1 rupee centralizes the rook and protects the e4 pawn. B5 gains space on the queen side and forces the bishop to the b3 square. Bb3 is forced, but the bishop is well placed because it attacks the f7 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. H3 takes control of the g4 square stopping any bg4 or ng4 ideas from black. bb7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. d3 supports the e4 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. d6 supports the e5 pawn and controls the c5 square. This is the only move that works. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. This mobilizes the knight allowing it to control more of the board. It is excellent. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is good. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is excellent. This permits the opponent to fork pieces. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is best recaptures. It is best. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is best. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This protects the attacked pawn. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is good. Takes back. It is best. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. This misses an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This is the strongest option. It is best. Very precise. It is best. Right on target. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. White was better off, but now their position is winning. It is a mistake. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This is the strongest option. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. That's fine. It is good. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is best. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. There was only one good move there. 
this overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a mistake. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is best. This defends a vulnerable pawn by pinning one of its attackers. It is best. This leads to losing material. It is an inaccuracy. That was a free rook. It is best. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. This overlooks an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is best. This moves the rook to safety. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This activates the king in the end game by getting it off of the back rank. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. Right on target. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. It is excellent. This loses a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. Very precise. It is best. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is excellent. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn while also checking the king. It is best. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn while also checking the king. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to reveal an attack on a pawn while also checking the king. This allows the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Right on target. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This puts the rook behind an opposing passed pawn, which helps counter the pawn's push to promotion. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is best. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is excellent. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is excellent. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. White outmaneuvered black in the end game. 